Hi guys, Jason from Trojan Photography here, and today we're going to be talking about these things, lens cases. Now, nowadays you don't really get lens cases with, them, with most lenses, but you do with some, so I want to talk about the positives, the negatives, and why you should or shouldn't use them. So, this is the Sigma one. I got this with my 50mm 1.4 from Sigma, lovely lens. Now it's well padded and it's great, but what you'll find is the lens is this big and the case is this big. Now this case will not fit in a bag. So this is great for when your lenses are at home and they're in storage or they're sitting in cupboard or whatever. It's going to stop your lens from getting dust on it. If you get a lens case with the lens, that's great. If you don't, do you have to worry? I don't think so. Like You're going to get a little bit of dust on it, but as long as you've got the caps on it, you're fine. Something different, more like this lens case, which is what I got when I bought this my 70 to 210 f4 off eBay. Now, this is more the lens case you're going to get if you go onto eBay and you buy something like an old film lens or something. They used to come in cases, they're great. Now this one, really nice, hard on the outside, sort of a leather feel on it. It's even got cannon embossed on the top. Nice red, velvety stuff, really smooth. Now this is great because as you can see, it's a little bit longer, but that's not a huge issue. Size-wise, it's about the same. This will fit in a camera bag. And especially if you're going to go overseas or on a plane, not overseas, maybe more international, like within the country. So if I go from Sydney to Melbourne or something, if you put it in one of these, or as you can see, this, will, this has a bit of room around it, and I usually put a bit of bubble wrapper in it, but I can chuck this in my carry on when it goes overhead you don't have to worry about it or you could I could even put this in my check-in I wouldn't and I would never recommend putting lenses in check-in unless you have to if you have to get a really nice case for it but when I go out and the other thing is it's got these little buckle holders in so you can put a strap around it and I have done this a few times you should, if you just want to carry a small bag or something but you want to carry a lens like this it's generally not going to fit in a small bag you put the straps around it, you sling it around yourself, or you attach it to the bag, and you can carry this lens around, you can carry your lenses around like that. And it's easier than just having the normal lens. So, I think it's worth investing if you want to do that. If you just want to carry a small bag around with a camera and a lens and just a spare lens, I think it's a great option as opposed to having to get one of those backpacks. So you can have the little sling bag with your camera and your... 18 to 55 or something, and then you can put one of these bigger lenses if you want the extra zoom. Just carry it around. There's not extra, there's not that much extra weight in one of these, and I think it's great. These these are good, but you're not going to be carrying this around. You're not going to really be putting this in your bag. If you go somewhere, if you go on a holidays with the family or something, on a road trip or with friends or something, yes, put it in one of these, put it in your bag, and that way you don't have this rocking around everywhere. I will have some more tips on how to pack for traveling coming up soon, so make sure you subscribe for that. But I think this is good for storage, this is good for traveling, this is more good for on-site. If you're going somewhere, if you're going somewhere dusty or windy, like not windy I guess, dusty or like if you go to the ocean to take some morning sunrise shots or sunset shots at the ocean or the beach, put it in a case, that way you can have it outside, you don't have to rummage through a bag you've got it there, it's quick access. So, overall I think they're good, they've got a purpose, but it's not a necessity. So yeah, check them out. They're selling on eBay and stuff quite cheap. Make sure you get something good quality. You don't want to invest in a lens like $400, $500 in a lens or something and get some cheap shitty bag that's going to not protect it at all. So, check it out. Make sure you check out the website trojanphotography.com and as I said below, subscribe below to keep up to date with all reviews, intros, tutorials, unboxings. Thanks!